But just one more match to come today on day three of competition. Second round action today. And it's men's doubles, and it's the former world champions Liu Cheng and Zhang Nang up against the Olympic silver medalists Govi Shem and Tan Wei Kiong. In fact, the three of the four players on court were in the Olympic final in Rio de Janeiro. Now, with, if you were with us earlier, you will have seen the European champions, Kim Astrop and Anna's uh, Rasmussen, uh, come through against the recent winners of the French Open. But here come the former world champions. Number three seeds this year, Liu Cheng and Zhang Nan. Well, this will be the seventh meeting between these two pairs. And of the previous six, uh, Govi Shen and Tamui Kiong has won four of them. Yeah, red. So, the last time they met was in the second round of this year's Malaysian Super 750 event. And it was Go and Tan that won on that occasion in three games, a minute shy of the hour mark. But of course, that was home soil, so I wonder if it'll make a difference now that the Chinese combination, former world champions, are playing on home soil. In fact, the two Chinese players played against each other in the final of the 2015 World Championships in the mixed doubles. Uh, this man, Liu Cheng, was beaten in that mixed doubles final, playing with Bao Yi Sin. They were semi-finalists here two years ago, lost out to Boa Morgensen, who then lost in the final. And last year, they lost in the quarter-final stage, uh, losing out to teammates Li Junhui and Li Yu Chen. 28 years of age now, Zhang Nan, the first male player to win two medals at the same Olympics, and only the second uh, male player in history to win Olympic golds in two different disciplines, mixed doubles and men's doubles. He is, of course, the reigning Olympic men's doubles cha champion, playing with former partner Fu Haifang. Three games in their first match uh, against the highly entertaining Lu Qin Yao and Yang Pao Han of Chinese Taipei. Govi Shen and his partner are both 29 years of age, born in Kuala Lumpur. And they're number 13 in the world ranking at the moment. Bronze medalists at the Asian Games four years ago. Quarter finalists this year at the Asian Games. And that Olympic silver medal, quite clearly the most outstanding achievement for them so far. Brian Griawan and Hardy Anto had to save a game point in the opening game against their Indonesian opponents in the first round when they were 19-20, won it 22-20, 21-18 in the second game. And as far as this Chinese pair are concerned, well, they played 12 tournaments as we look at our court officials for this. 12 tournaments this year haven't been in a final. The last time they were actually beyond this stage of a tournament. So beyond, beyond the round of last 16 it was five tournaments ago. So they've not been having the best time of late. The number three seeds, Liu Cheng and Zhang Nan. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Liu Chen and Tang Nan, China. And on the left, Govi Shem and Tan Li Kiong, Malaysia. Tan Li Kiong 
to serve to Chang Nan. Love all. Ploy. Well, I was reading in one of the Malaysian newspapers that one love. Tan Wee Kiong is hoping his wonderful news that he's had in his private life, that his wife is expecting a baby boy in March next year. Hopes that that good news will uh, give him the Two inspiration to love. produce a good result here in China. Oh. Two years ago, they were the number two seeds here, the Malaysians. Lost in the very first round to their opponents of today. One, two. Well, I was telling you that they've played each other six times before. All six occasions that these two pairs have met previously have gone the full distance, gone to three games. Well, I think this is the man who's been struggling of late, Liu Cheng. Up one place on the world ranking earlier today, to number six. Oh dear. Four, three. Now, well, if you were with us from the very first match of the day, you would have seen Jiang Nan losing his mixed doubles match with Li Yunhui. The three games to Puavara Nukro and Teirat Tanachai. Five, three. attacking play by the Malaysians and they should be well rested because Seven, uh, they missed three. European tournaments because of an ankle injury to go Vishem. And certainly in that last rally seemed oh. to be moving quite well. Bashing particularly well. Eight, three. Oh, that was a nice idea. Trying to take so the pace out of the shot, Govishem. Eight. Oh. So 
over. Nine, four. Good defense. Mm. Very well intercepted. It's very much Ten. their favored formation oh. is to have Tam Wee Kiong at the front of the court intercepting like that. Govi Shem's got such a good smash from the back of the court, such wonderful angles. It's not just power, can create angles as well. And wide. So it's a very handsome seven point advantage for Golfi Shem and Tam Wee Kiong at the mid game interval here in the opening game. The Malaysians will be very pleased with that. Well, I know we've got an awful long way to go in this match yet, but I think over the last 12 months, ever since they won the World Championship, Liu Cheng and Yang Nan, which of course was over a year ago now. In fact, when they won the world title Play. in Glasgow, it was their first ever title together. In only their second ever final. So it's over. And I think that, Five. as I said a moment Eleven. ago, this man, Liu Cheng, has been struggling a little bit, and I think maybe China needs to do a, a bit of serious thinking. If they want so Jiang Nan in Tokyo 12, in two five. years' time to try and defend his Olympic men's doubles title. And also attempt to become a record breaker and first man to win a gold medal at three consecutive Olympic Games in the badminton so discipline. Because I'm not sure Red. that Liu Chung is the man for him to achieve that sort of target with. skills of Zhang Nan. Seven, 71 career finals. One of those 71 finals winning 48 titles. of course across two disciplines Fault. yeah well the players stopped Fault. 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 and it hadn't been a, a call from the umpire it was a double hit by yeah definite double hit by the Chinese pair no question Thirteen, seven. One left. Fourteen, seven.
9-14. Yeah. He's very powerful smash. And he's got a simple opportunity like that, Liu Cheng. Finals in this particular 14. tournament. Zhang Nan, five of them in the mixed doubles. Well, you go back eight years when he was in the men's doubles final with Chai Biao. Lost in the final to the late Zhang Jae Sung and Li Yong Day. Nice to see Li Yong Day back on the world tour. Winning last week in Macau with new partner Kim Ji Jung. on the defence there from Liu Chung. 12-14. Yeah, driving it back quickly. There's his physicality, his physical oh. strength to be able to do that. Oh. Oh, this is amazing. 13-14. Eight of the last ten points now to the Chinese oh. pair. So the solar fifteen thirteen. Pressurizing Malaysia pair, most of the attack. 13. <coughs> Going on, Liu Chung. His defense breaking down first. Spring's gone, I think. Yep. 17, 13. Oh, that's unfortunate. So I felt they were right back in it. Play. 
over Solver. 14, 17. rally important rally too and that's gone wide right idea from Govi Shem 17 yeah Jung Nam was wanting to go forward to the net and there was nobody covering that deep forehand corner Goodness. Yeah, that was a double hit. Never have seen one. 16, 17. No, it's a pity we're not seeing that again. That was an extraordinary double hit. Double hit by one player. Error on the return of serve. 17. Oh. And from seven points adrift at one stage. Both at the mid game interval. And at 7 14 down. Now the former world champions back level. 17 all. change this so dramatically number of errors it is so typical of the Malaysian pair they get themselves in winning positions they're only final this year of the Malaysian Masters Super 500 they were a game and 18-13 up in the second had match point and yet somehow contrived to lose it They done. So it's over. 18 all. Nineteen, eighteen. He doesn't miss many of those, does he? was well taken by Liu Chang. So it's over. Wipe the court, please. 19 all. Wipe the court. Back, back. 
behind. Behind. Thank you. Players back on court. A crucial stage for this little timeout while the court was mopped. 19 all. opportunity from the unlikely deficit to 411 and then 714 the Chinese number three seeds Liu Chang and Zhang Nan game point opportunity They convert 21-19. What on earth happened to the Malaysians? And Tang Dan, 21-19. They honestly looked to be cruising in the early stages of that opening game. But as I've said before, it's not how you start, it's how you finish that counts. 22 minutes, just under, for the opening game. Well, I certainly didn't think at one stage that I'd be saying opening game to Lu Cheng and Zhang Nan. But isn't that the beauty of sport? So unpredictable. Nothing can happen. Expect the unexpected. Second game. Love all. Play. Is an astonishing statistic since the inception of the Super Series in 2007 and now of course we have the HSBC BWF World Tour instead of Super Series and Grand Prix Gold events. No pair from China has won the men's doubles title at this tournament since that inception. Last time that a uh, pair from China won the men's doubles title here on home soil at this event it was 17 years ago in 2001. Oh. Zhang Jun and Zhang Wei. So it's over. But if you look One, for the last time two. that a pair from Malaysia 
won the men's doubles title at this particular event, you have to go back 29 years oh. to 1989. Razif and Jelani Sadek. Two of the strongest nations in men's doubles. Traditionally, over the last few decades, Malaysia and China have failed to win this China Open now for a long, long time. Spotted. Must have been aware that Tam Wee Kiong was encroaching Three. forward. Oh. Managed to place the smash particularly well. Oh, oh my goodness, that came off the frame of the racket. Silver, silver. Four. Tamwee Kiong, incidentally, was a beaten finalist here at this event five years ago, playing with Hoon Tian Hao. Lost out in the final to Lee Yong Day and Yu Yong Sung. Silver, silver. Four, on. So one player within each of the two partnerships have contested a men's doubles final at this particular tournament previously. And neither managed to win the men's doubles title. I think the sheer threat of Zhang Nan coming forward to challenge him for Stanley Kiong into error. the attack directed once again. Mm. Seven, six. He did remarkably well because he'd broken the strings of his racket there. Go Shem. Thank you. 
Uh, Chinese coaching bench, very happy with that. That was the one that turned the whole momentum around the block defence and move forward from Jiang Nan. Short, yeah. Got what it deserved. <laughs> so it's over. Nine, eight. Incredible defence. Got to be the longest rally of the match so far as well. Unbelievable. Easily the longest rally of the match. Oh! And then the defence to the forehand side of Govi Shem doing the damage. The attacking shot Ten, from... Nine. Jiang Nan towards the forehand defence of Govi Shem. Oh, it's much more difficult to defend forehand than it is backhand. Longest rally, 62 shots. Players back and forth. Lauchen. Formation. Well spotted, umpire. Play. Oh. To the mid-game interval 11, with a two-point advantage. 
Liu Cheng and Zhang Nan. Well, I wonder if the incredible statistic of the last six matches, all six matches going the full distance, I wonder if that's going to be continued here today. Malaysians have got to lift their game if they're to do so. Service for God. I think that's the so first of the match. Twelve, ten. obvious with the drop shot. Oh, the final smash was very good. Defensive shot from Govi Shem. Well, that is the shot of the day so far. Look at that. I'm not sure if it was a miss hit, but whatever it was, it was just sensational. Look at it. And that was played defensively off an opponent's smash, playing cross court. Just one point Seven. in it now. 13. Yeah, 
That is brilliant. Yeah. So the solo. 14. You don't go winning two Olympic gold medals in two different disciplines unless you've got skills. And that was just delightful. Power. 15, 12. Good placement too, I have to say, towards the right hip of Tamwe Kion. But he was waiting with that forehand defence, which means that it really was the power that beat him. into trouble 15. by playing a loose cross-court drive Liu Chung Play. Oh. 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 So the time is running out for the Malaysians 15. but then I thought time was running out in the opening game for the Chinese pair. We ended up winning it. Good serve. just doesn't penetrate 15, a, enough 17. for force opponents into a weak reply with his attacking play, Liu Chang. And by a weak reply, I mean that yeah, the reply comes into the hitting zone or somewhere where Zhang Nan can anticipate the interception. It's all too predictable, in my opinion. Thank you. That's why we always talk about variation in attacking play, change of pace, change of angles. Got to be very specific about exactly where you're placing the attacking shot. Is it to the right hip? Is it shoulder height? mixing it up the whole time. Play. Oh. 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 So the 
it's over. 18, 15. Three point advantage and three points away from winning the match for the first time in six previous meetings in two straight games. Any of the matches, previous six meetings. All won and lost in three games previously. about 15. this smash here is across the body of Tanwi Kiong and therefore it comes up into the hitting zone the reply comes to the hitting zone of uh, Jiang Nan at the front of the court and then he can play the winner it's that combination oh. play that's so important oh, quick coming forward Oh yes, delightful from Golden Shem. So the solo. Landed in. Oh, there's a challenge here. First challenge of the match. Changdan challenges. Call in. Well, he was right there, so he must be. Oh no, that's way in. Why on earth did he challenge that? Must have been a tactical challenge. challenge. Unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Oh. 17, 19, play. Oh. another three game match between these two pairs I wonder Not the best decision that Liu Chang has made. 19 on. Gave that opportunity for the attacking play for the Malaysians. 19 all. Continued, I do not know. So the solo, 20, match point. Well, it was earlier on 19. that there was the most extraordinary defensive shot 
picked up. So the match point opportunity is with Liu Cheng and Zhang Nan. Of course, it was either a match point opportunity or a game point opportunity. Play. Good serve on match point. Everything at Liu Chen. And it pays dividends. Match point saved. 20 all and extra points required until there's a clear two point winning margin. So having just saved a match point, now the Malaysians have a game point opportunity to send this the full distance. 20. Who would have thought? Fifteen nineteen down in this second game. Match point down. Now game point opportunity. It's all happening here. One game all, and for a seventh time, when these two pairs Seven have met, one by it will seven. be decided by and a third and deciding game. 22-20. One game all confirms the umpire. 54 minutes into the match, and it's one game all. Code one, 20 seconds. Code one, 20 well, seconds. How many twists in the tail uh, can we expect in this deciding game? 
extraordinary match so far. Malaysian seven points up twice, seven points up in the opening game, but then lost it. Former world champions. 1915 up in the second, having already won the first, lost it, having had match point opportunity. Final game. Love all. Play. Final game, here we go. It's over. One lock. Good rally. Service over. One, two. Yeah. He's working Four, very hard at the one. front of the court is Zhang Dang. Waiting for those opportunities to make the interception. Much, much better placement of Five, the attacking play one. from Liu Cheng. Good variation. His final smash out to the forehand side of Tan Wei Kiong. Without really doing the damage.
So the solo, two, five. from that turn we kill that's what he's waiting for that's where he's best at the front of the court Umpire's having a word with them all. Feels they're delaying the game too much. Yeah. Now in three minutes already. We're only 6-3 in the deciding game. Oh, right to go for it, I think. Just completely mistimed it. Seven, three. Total confusion. Yeah, good placement. Yeah, Wallace is very pleased with that one, and so he should be. Deep in his defensive stance, there, Liu Chung. Another. Would you believe it? Normally as safe as houses on those sort of shots. Tamway Kyong. about wasting time. I think that warning was about flicking perspiration away from the body, right. but that seemed to take an age in between the end of that last rally, and we still not started this next rally yet.
Yeah, good change of pace. Look at Liu Cheng, bent double. So He's feeling the pace of this. Five, nine. Oh, I didn't quite catch that rally length. Well, the umpire's giving them more time to tell down and a comment by my friend Steen Peterson at a recent event rings in my ears which is you can't have a rest just because you're tired play will be continuous well, the umpire's having another word with Liu Cheng but unfortunately we didn't see it strong <laughs> Lovely defence. And again. Yeah. But you can't keep doing that blocking to the front of the court when Zhang Nan is in the net area. Ten, five. Got to get it away from him at the net. Move him. Of course, move him at the front of the court. But he's too quick once he's intercepting. Oh. Oh. Eleven five. So In total, it is a six point advantage to the number three seeds as they change ends in this third and deciding game. Code Yeah, the Malaysians in the wrong formation again. Well spotted by the umpire. Oh my goodness. Well, Govi Shem started to go, then thought better of it. By then, Tamwi Kiong was leaving it to his partner. Terrible confusion. Yeah.
Yeah. Uh, her hand didn't Both seem to enjoy five. that one. He thinks the Malaysians are running out of steam. Well, I'm not sure I'd argue with him on that front. Goodness, he got it back. How did he do that? I thought it was rally over. Reliant as ever. Jung Nan. Good return of serve. Intercepts the next shot. Just steadies the ship. to get back now from this sort of a deficit. If you're a Malaysian fan, things are now looking very bleak indeed. If you're a Chinese fan, you'll uh, be a little more relaxed right now. That's a good serve. Well, I have to say it was a good shot Nine, from the 17. Malaysian, aiming it just out of reach. Oh, oh huge gap. Who's looking for that one? Well, the answer is nobody. 
10, 17. Clever. Lovely change of pace. Set the whole rally up oh, from Tam Wee Kiong there. 11 17. This one. Wasn't that lovely? Uh, I mentioned earlier that he's very deep in his defensive stance. Liu Chong. Yeah, knows immediately. It's board. already thumping the floor in frustration before the rally's actually lost. It's gone long. Four straight points. And I think Liu Chang is really struggling physically. Jang Nan, his drive, skimming the net, deflecting the shuttle. And that just settles the nerves. Yeah, he's very much the commander in the partnership, talking to his partner, encouraging him, offering up advice. going in. So, it's over. So, 2013. It is, in fact, a second match point opportunity because they had a match point opportunity 
in the second game, which they failed to convert. But another seven opportunities now. Oh. Crikey. Oh, we saw a net ball so, so winning singles earlier in the day, didn't we? One match point. The Takahashi, I thought we were going to see it again there. It's almost 15, as he rushed forward 20. because he didn't want to have to work from the back of the court, Liu Cheng. You can't go and change your shirt or... No, he's not going to change his shirt, Chen Nan. Just wanted to towel down. Play. Finally, on their fourth match point opportunity. The third in the third game. And the former world champions and number three seeds, Liu Chung and Zhang Nan, finally win through against the Olympic silver medalists, Govi Shem and Tam Wee Kiong. Match one by Long Shen and Zhang Nan. 21 15 in the deciding 19, game. 20 22 21 15. An hour and 24 minutes for that victory. So safely through. 21, 19, 20, 22, 21, 15 in the deciding game. This is the final rally. And the lift going long from Govi Shem. Coaches celebrate, but the former world champions doing it the hard way. So confirmation of that scoreline. 21-19, 20-22, in a match lasting an hour and 24 minutes. So that's it from second round action today from Fuzhou. It all started with mixed doubles and the beaten finalists from 2016, Zhang Nang and Li Yinhui, beaten by the Thai pair who are doing extremely well at the moment, Pua Varanukro and Te Rat Tanachai winning through in an hour and 10 minutes. Former world champion Nozomi Okuhara was a very convincing, certainly in the opening game against Sung Ji Hyung. 21-18 uh, in the second game. Then the uh, defending champions and former world champions, Chen Ching Cheng and Zha Yifan, surprise defeat uh, for them. Not so much the defeat, but the manner of their defeat to Che and Kim in just 40 minutes. Then it was uh, men's doubles and the European champions, Astrup and Rasmussen, uh, once again getting the better of Han and Zhou in a repeat of the China Super 1000 event earlier this year, winning in two straight games. Sayaka Takahashi, the left-hander, needed three games and uh, won on a six-match point against the beaten finalist from last year, Gao Fangji. Then the world champion Kento Momoto was simply a class above Vitting Hoos today, just 36 minutes for that one. Actually, it's been rounded up to 37 minutes, hasn't it? And then it was uh, mixed doubles and Praveen Jordan and uh, Octavianti beaten finalists at the India Super Series, the India Super 500 earlier this year. Came from 13-14 down in the second game and won eight of the nine, next nine points. 
winning a 21-15 in that second game. And as we've just witnessed the former world champions Hu Cheng and Zhang Nang, having had a match point in the second game, actually needed three games to beat the Olympic silver medalists in an hour and 25 minutes. So quarterfinals tomorrow, 2 p.m. local time. That's 0600 GMT from all of us here in Fuzhou, especially from me, Jill Clark. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.